<laughs> What's up guys? It's still Jordan and I'm back here with another video. And today I'm going to show you guys the best and easiest way to cook like a New York strip steaks on the jumbo drive. This will work on a jumbo drive or a smoky drive. But as this it depends. And so before we get started, I will just say that a couple of things. The temperature is, is was purchased separate and and if you decide to, if you have a smoky jar and you're doing this, yes, you will want not a giant steak, you want a smaller steak. So I recommend if you're using this, cooking the steak for like big parties and, and stuff, I recommend using a jumbo dry so you can get bigger ones on there. Because the only difference is a jumbo dry is bigger, but if you're a weekend camper, camper so you, and you just go, go in your RV to camp for a weekend and you and your girls too. And your big, and I would recommend the smoky jar. This is a jumbo jar. Let's get to it. The first thing we need to do is get our charcoal started. Mm. And it, so right, right now we don't have any charcoal in here. Yeah, the, yeah, we'll be, we will be using you know, this. It is made by Weber. It's the Weber chim, chimney starter. Uh, why are we going to use a chimney? So we can get our coals cooking. Yeah. And I, I have cooked some things on the jumbo show in the past and I definitely recommend that. Why do you recommend it? it, it it's, a, it's great. It, get, it gets your food cooked. Because I, I understand. I used to hate steaks. I, I, I didn't think when they would cook steaks, I'd take like four or five bites, but I didn't really eat too much of it. And, and, and now I love steaks. And now my dad is buying some charcoal and our charcoal starter. I'm going to use a Weber lighter tube to get, get this started, and it's not a marshmallow. That's what I told my dad the first time I saw it. I like, why are you burning a marshmallow? But I noticed that it wasn't a marshmallow. We're gonna light the, we're gonna light the, the key up. Also made by Weber. Set this right over the top. And, and then you can check on it if you look in the bottom, if you're using the same one. If, you can lock it and you might be able to see that burn. Now you're gonna let your coals things get hot and when they, they turn white, they're ready to go. Once your coals are nice red and red hot, you're ready to dump them. But first, since they don't have to be all white, if they're white on the bottom, you're good. Because the top yes. ones are still black. Right, so you're looking for all your coals underneath to be red hot. And if you have a few on top that aren't completely red hot, that's okay. Yep. They'll get hot after you dump them in your grill. Yeah, they'll get hot after. Alright, so here we go. As you can see, they, were, they are white. And you will arrange them against one side of the grill and it starts to like these. Okay, and just do be careful. So now we're going to add two hickory wood blocks. They look, they look like this. I know they just look like normal wood, but... I suggest using togs for these. Some are still black, but don't worry, they'll get white. Now I'm gonna put the lid back on and get the grill up to temperature. You'll see, you'll see when this gets up to temperature. First off, thank you to my mom for recording. That is so much smoke. Now you're ready to put your steaks on. Then you put your lid off to the side. You want to put your steaks right on the fire so they'll be so they'll cook good. This time, this time can just be making it dark. Like I'll hopefully I'll be able to get the video uh, done soon. We want to see the steaks for 90 seconds per side. Now time to flip them. Oh, 
as you can see here, you got me to do the eye cross crooks because these were about, about 400 degrees as you saw. Now I want them to move them to indirect heat for about four minutes. Now I'm gonna flip them and, and then now I'm gonna flip them and then let them cook for another two minutes. And then you check the temperature, then meat the thermometer. Ooh. Looking good, Dylan. So we are looking at now it's time to check the temperature. We are looking for 150 on one, 160 on the other one. Well, Alright, let's check it. This one and that one is not done yet. Let's look. One fifty one. And that one is about one forty four forty five. So if that one's ready, we're gonna cook this one a little bit more. So we're gonna flip this one. These are very close to being done. We're gonna uh, finish them off over the thing. Once your steaks are uh, at the desired temperature, then you're ready to eat. This one's at 160 for medium well. This one's at 140 to 145 for medium. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Dawn from Florida. Bye, guys.